Hi, my name is Melissa. I teach grade one and I'm from Sunway International Schools. Hi everyone, my name is Nisba. Um, I also teach grade one and I teach at Sunway International School. Today we are going to show you how to create this Q-tip tree painting. Um, we're going to go over the materials with you um, and just want us all to do that. Okay, so this art project needs very simple materials and it's very cheap to do. So what you're going to need is a drawing block paper. So you can use uh, 8 and a half by 11, 8 and a half by 14, or if you want to make it a big uh, tree, you can use an 8 and a half by 17 piece of paper. Your hand and different colored paints, depending on how you want your tree to look like. It can be a spring tree, a fall tree, or a summer tree and some Q-tips. So now we'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we're just gonna go over some tips and tricks for you while you're creating your Q-tip painting. So tip number one I have for you is to make sure that there are spaces between your fingers when you're tracing, um, just so you're creating your branches. Tip number two is to make a round circle for the top of the tree, and then fill it with dots to make sure you're creating a more fuller tree. Um, tip number three is to make sure you paint dots in between the fingers. This is just to ensure that you're having a more full tree. And the last tip I have for you is that you can create any type of tree you want. So the type of tree we showed you was um, done using fall colors. But obviously if you look at this picture, you can obviously create a cherry blossom tree using red and pink paint. You can also create a different um, base for your tree trunk. So over here if you look, um, this person dipped their whole hand, palm, into paint and kind of stamped it and then uh, dotted the tree like that. So it's entirely up to you how you want to create your tree um, and we really hope you have fun with it and you enjoy the lesson. Okay, so as mentioned in the slide with Miss Melissa, I'm just going to go over the materials really quickly with you guys. So what you're going to need is your paint pot. Okay, colors depend on what you want to use. You're going to need brown pencil crayon a marker to outline your hand, and obviously the main part of this, the Q-tips, for creating the, the dots on your tree. Okay. So you want to make sure you grab this much of the hand, so you're kind of building your trunk. And I'm just going to trace your hand. Make sure your fingers are wide apart, so you're creating the branches of the tree. I'm just going to go over her hand, just like that. And I'm going to stop at the base here. So now you have your trunk. What you're going to do is you're going to take your pencil crayon and you're going to shade in the hand. So I'm going to have Ms. Melissa help me just so it's nice and quick. red, green, and yellow to create a fall tree. I'm going to start right now. So this is our final product of our Q-tip tree. As you notice, it's all full around the whole tree and we have all our different colors as well as our hand that is very well colored as inside. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed that.